This is a continuation of my redirect video that I did yesterday. I've learned some more information, so I just want to share it. Um, first of all, you'll notice with my product categories that under medicine balls, I've got two categories. Now, I did have several categories, and I've been deleting those categories to create redirects. So when I come over to my redirect, one of the ones I used to have was a redirect under cardio medicine ball. And then I had, um, I have heavy duty medicine balls and I've got medicine balls with handles. So what I discovered was my heavy duty medicine ball my, was a category that I actually deleted over here. You'll notice I have the medicine balls with handles, but I no longer have medicine ball heavy duty under the cardio section. I only have the exact same or similar category under my weightlifting section. So if I come over here and I put in that same URL, so I've got my cardio category instead of weightlifting, it's going to redirect it back to my weightlifting category. And that's fine and that's normal and that's what I've been doing. So I've been creating this redirect link and then deleting the original category under under the cardio section. Now, the thing that I just discovered, which is pretty cool, is that I can actually keep that section intact so I don't actually even have to get rid of it. So under medicine balls, I've got this medicine balls with handles, and that used to create, that used to go to a separate category that was kind of a duplicate of my weightlifting category. So I've got medicine balls with handles right here. This is under weightlifting. But what I discovered is that I can come to my cardio medicine balls with handles. So it's still a drop down menu, but it then redirects over to my weightlifting category. So that was pretty cool because what that adds to my site is the ability to have some drop downs to pop up in different places. So instead of having a duplicate category or a category with you know, that I have to put in maybe kids and gymnastics or cardio and weightlifting. So let me show you how that would work in terms of actually setting up another category. Okay, so what? let me show you what this looks like and what this means. If right now, if I come over, I'm under medicine balls. Uh, medicine balls, I've created kind of just a catch-all category so that you can come in and look at every single type of medicine ball. I've got several pages of that and you can see all my, my various medicine balls. Now, if I want to keep this category open, but maybe what I'd like to do is to create it, maybe push it over or have this particular category show up under my weightlifting medicine balls. If I come over to weightlifting medicine balls, you'll notice that I've got my categories and then I still have numerous pages of every type of medicine ball that I have and every type of medicine ball product that I have available. So if I take this weightlifting medicine balls, I'm going to take this actual page if I want to turn it. Right now I'm on page two. So we're actually going to go just to page one. And I'm going to come over here to my site redirect and I'm going to add a manual redirect. Here's where I'm going to add where that goes. Just kind of a quick tip. Um, Big Commerce has a tizzy fit when you try to add a old URL without having the new URL. So it's easier to add the new URL first. Now I'm going to come over and go to cardio and click on my medicine balls. So now I've got this is my actual cardio page, if you'll notice. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to control A and copy this. This page only has three pages of cardio medicine balls. And I'm going to control V, copy it back in, delete off my beginning part, and I'm going to hit save. Now, when I come over and I hit cardio medicine balls, it's actually going to redirect me to my weightlifting medicine balls. So that's kind of a cool feature. That means I really don't even have to recategorize my products in multiple categories, but I can still have the visual. So someone who's coming over to look for medicine balls 
maybe for a cardio workout can find it as well as someone who's looking for it under weightlifting or if I add a rehab type category for exercise rehab I could add quickly add that there without a lot of work and without recategorizing all of my products so I hope that helps you and um, have a great day if you like the video please subscribe thank you bye